Welcome back. Today I want to talk about how time is both fast and slow. Time throughout the day, time throughout the month and the year, and then time for our whole lives. And time is this interesting paradox where, again, it is both fast and slow. We both have a lot of time and life is short. We want to use our time well and live with peace while also knowing we could die at any time. And so I think these concepts are competing in our minds and they don't need to be. So I like to say that whenever we encounter a paradox, there we encounter God. Because God designed all of this. And so he knew that to us, time would feel both fast and slow. And that we would want to live our lives fully, but also want to slow down and be present and have peace. And they really are not at odds, but I find that my mind gets twisted up about time when I'm spending too much time thinking about the past or the future. When I'm living in either of those spaces a lot in my mind, then I find that my experience of my present time, the hour or the day or the week, gets a little muddled. And so I want you to know that you can handle understanding that time is both fast and slow. I want you to realize that the human life is very short and we don't even know how long it's going to be for each one of us, but we do not need to live in a panic. And so the key to doing this is really to think a little bit about the future just enough to be like, hey, what's happening? What are my broad plans? And I like to do that with the Lord. Just, Lord, what are you calling me to? What should I be preparing for? And so I have some scaffolding in place so I'm not just making everything up every day. But then I really try to just be present in my day and just really feel like, oh, I am here right now. This is a beautiful moment. I want to have deep connections with the people that I encounter specifically my friends and family, but even people that I meet for a short period of time. I think, how can I impact them in a positive way? How can I encourage them? How can I shine the Lord's goodness and his light into these people? And when we live like this, it feels a whole lot more peaceful. So I want you to just to pay attention to how you think about time right now. How you think about your day, when you feel stressed, when you feel anxious, and ask yourself, why? What am I thinking about my life or the time I have right now that's causing me stress and anxiety? Because we know that our thoughts create our feelings. So you want to go be an investigator and figure out what you're thinking. Particularly when new things begin like school or a job. And you're looking at your calendar and you're thinking about your time. Life is both fast and slow. And I want you to know that you can be present in your own life and show up to the things in front of you and have so much trust in the Lord that he's going to bring you every person and every resource that you need when you need it to do the work that he wants you to do before he calls you home. He's going to give you everything, even if you can't think it up right now. And so I want to invite you to be a little bit more present in your life today, to surrender it a little bit more to the Lord, to look ahead just enough that we're not throwing it all to chance and not thinking about what's for dinner tomorrow. Right? We want to have a little bit of scaffolding because most of us are homemakers. We take care of our home too. 
So that's part of our job. But holding it in the context of, I can't control most things. I'm going to keep living here on this planet for however many days. And one of the best ways to enjoy it is to just be more present in the moment. So I wanted to share that with you today. I hope that's helpful for you. I hope it gives you a little bit of hope and helps you to experience more peace in your day-to-day life. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Catholic Mom Mindset. To learn more about growing closer to the Holy Spirit, check out our free resources at madeforgreatness.co. Thank you so much for listening and have a blessed day.